Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account, 131,000 diamonds, and it is time for summons, guys. I am hoping that we can get Liberta, um and build her out, Lucila. I'm gonna do the exact same, but it might take me a little bit more time. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pop up our Elite Stones. We have seven of these that we pulled out of the Misty Valley, and we get a copy of Palmer, so not too bad. I believe Palmer I do not have at five stars yet. Rest of these at fodder, and then we do get a superb Elite Stone, which gives us Rigby, again, another hero not really gonna be too um, concerned about. We're gonna use our summons, Temple of Time Emblems. I have 161, we're saving these for the next hero. It's gonna be a Wilder, it's gonna be a Greyborn, but looking at our Stargazing Room, guys, this is the one that we are looking to build, and I'm gonna take him all the way to one star, but I hope out of here that we can pull, hopefully, a copy. I, I would love a copy, I would love two copies. I know we are getting free copies. You're, you're gonna get a free copy out of the event that is coming on um, the War of Truth, but that is just literally one copy, which I believe at this point, I do not have enough resources to build out both of the new heroes. So it is gonna take a little bit of time to get both of them built out. But one, I should have no problem, unless we do have super, super good luck, which would be cool to see, to get a couple copies. There's a copy of Trishia right there, still kind of building her out, did some engraving on there. In addition, I did save some engraving mats and another elite right there, which is Savius. So with the summons, we got one card on the table. I'm gonna do the same. You know what, we got a copy of Trishia. Maybe we can get another one, which is a copy of Saurus. Again, gonna be food in there. Fingers crossed, let's get in for the summons, guys. 131,000 diamonds, 477 cards. I've been farming these out of the tower like crazy. Um, even on the live stream, we farmed a ton of these. So let's see what we can do here with the summons, guys. And we're gonna get a ton of resources. I'm, I'm super excited about that. I was thinking about it as well, is not only that, is the resource generation we're gonna get. And there we go. There's our first copy. So that is one copy down right there, which means we have a copy of Elite. Hopefully we can get some diamonds out of here. There is number two that takes them to Elite Plus. So pretty good so far on the summons. Again, the resources we're gonna be able to gain hopefully a couple more levels. Uh, we don't wanna burn through a lot of these cards. That's only two copies at this point, guys. Boom, there's number three. So one more and we will take him to legendary. Come on, I wanna see a double. Wanna see some diamonds. Uh, we need one more and again we're going through a lot of cards guys got some more resources right there there we go so that takes him to legendary with those four copies that we're already at so 287 left need some back-to-back -back copies we need some double copies i'm hoping we should have enough to finish him out there we go there's one more but they're just coming one at a time there we go there's another poll. So we got a little bit more, um, little bit more luck on those copies. And that does take Palmer up. Again, adding another star in there. So that takes him done, guys. We only have Guineas, um, and they're all done. Trishia, of course, damage-wise, helping out a little bit. Let's double these copies up. So there's Legendary. There's Legendary Plus with that one. All right, Legendary Plus. 227 cards left, but that's already been quite a few copies. A lot more resources. We're going to start seeing them go to the mailbox, which there they are. Not sure why we still get Dura's Fragments, um, but th they're still in here that we don't use anymore. And there we go, guys. So we need one more to take him to Mythic. Uh, we just need one more for Mythic. 127 cards left. This should be the pull. Nope, maybe it's this one. There we go. All right, so that takes him to Mythic. That means we can get the signature item. So two more copies for Mythic Plus. Need to get some doubles in here, guys. The diamonds are gonna go really, really fast in here. Wow, just a lot of resources. There we go, there's one more. Not even anything back to back, not seeing any diamonds as of now. Getting a lot of cards though. Uh, 
Come on, we need that one more copy. There we go. So that will take him. Should be Mythic Plus. I believe that is Mythic Plus at this point. There we go. Unlocks the signature item. And again, I knew we wouldn't have enough to build out both of them because even if we're adding the one star on here, um, but that takes it to Mythic Plus. That means we need, that's right, four more copies, two more for the star. That's six in total. Let's count this down, guys. 120,000 diamonds. Again, these are going to go fast. These are going to go fast to hopefully, again, fingers crossed that we can get a couple copies of this hero. Come on, we still need four guys, 95,000 diamonds. Boom, there's a copy. Three more to get him ascended. I don't think it's gonna happen. This is gonna be close. All of the resources we had in here, guys. This is normal Stargazer rates that we always do see. There's a copy, so we need two more 55,000 diamonds. One more is all that we need. Hopefully it's gonna be quick. Don't think we're gonna be able to add a star on there. Five, there's 30. There we go, there's a copy. So we need two more to add a star. We might be short on adding a star on there. Unless we get some luck, unless we get some diamonds. Two more pulls. Final one gives us a copy. We are one copy short. Got him up to Ascended though. With all of the resources we did have, that does take him up to Ascended. And I don't know which one's gonna be better. Um, I like Liberta. Um, it's really the one that I wanted to focus on building, which there we go. So we're gonna get that animated avatar frame um, when it resets. Now, right now it is not up at this point, but the Oaken, let's do the same guys. We have what, 60,000 in here. We're gonna be able to add him in the room, swap where he's at, and of course, other one, Lu Lucila, we're going to have to wait to build. I don't even know if we have enough to finish out the room. We do. We do have enough to finish out the room. Let's go ahead, move the hero on down. And again, continue to build on there, guys. Because now I can drop them both into the furniture. And it will actually put it down there. And I put all the heroes down because there's not a big need um, for the rest of the furniture. So I'm gonna drop out, um, right there, I'm gonna drop out the Awakened version of Belinda. So I'm gonna drop that hero in here. Then I'm gonna save, I'm gonna drop out, let's do Rowan. I'll, I'll drop out Rowan at this point. Um, and I'm gonna add Lucila in there as well because we know that's gonna build. Now looking at our wish list, guys, of what we need, Ivan needs furniture, um, Trishia needs furniture. A lot of these heroes are absolutely in need of a ton of mythic furniture. And who do we got? We have Mihira, that is close. And then, of course, we have Lorzen. Lorzen and Mihira are the two that we have to look out for. Don't want to duplicate the furniture. There is Skrath. Again, Skrath does still see some play within the five pull. Copy for Trishia. Again, building her up a little bit further. And remember, we're not far off, guys, from having an Awakened Hero. Other piece for Skrath means, again, we're going to need furniture. Again, we're going to need resources. Um, to continue building out these heroes. Now, there's a copy for Lorzen. I believe that will finish him, guys, at the nine of nine. So Lorzen, I'm going to drop out. I'm going to throw Rowan back in here so we can finish out Rowan. 31,000 left. We still have a lot of beast baits left. But I want to build up this hero. And again, we're going to take him up and build him up. So there's Oku. I believe that takes Oku to eight at this point. And there's Oku again. I believe that will finish out Oku. And again, Oku, not a huge driving force within AFK Arena to, to build him out. However, when it comes to the Wilder Tower, when you start getting to multiple teams in the Wilder Tower, um, super imperative. It, it's super important. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop the Awakened version of Belinda in here. But Oku works very well in the tower, which is exactly where I need him for. Um, that's why I wanted to add the furniture on there and actually build them out a little bit. There's a first copy for Liberta. And remember, when we build out the new heroes, they also give us resources. So you get a lot of your resources back um, from the heroes as we continue to build them. 
We have two cards there. Let's go ahead and recycle. I think we can do one more summon with our recycle. Two more summons, actually. There we go. That gives us Mythic Furniture, which is the new Hypo right there. Go ahead and recycle all of this one more time. Not going to give us enough for another one, though. But I'm going to go ahead and use those again. We're going to get free furniture out of here. So getting him to the three of nine is going to allow us to get free furniture when he is available. So there we go. We got the first stage built out. Let's hop over, build him up a little bit further. And we're one, but one copy short as we are one copy short. Look at that. Grants 50 energy when an allied gains a blessing orb. Energy regeneration, one of the biggest things with this heroes, guys. Energy gained and um, reduce upon gaining blessing and punishing orbs increased to 150. That is right, guys. 150 energy here. Boom, again, building the hero out. We're going to get a rebate. I already have all of my red chests right there to take him to that plus 36 item, adding some more haste on there. There we go. Got the three of nine, we got the plus 30. And I, again, I think this is kind of the basic build. Even looking here, guys, let's drop the hero in the resonating crystal. I'm not gonna buy anything out for them right now um, because we know we have the event coming, which means we're gonna get some free copies, but we'll start building out Lucila as well. And there is the 772. Again, we're gonna have to build out some of this furniture. I know I do have some chests in there to use, but looking here at the plus 30, Damage dealt to the enemy hero by removing the punishing orb is permanently increased. Pretty good when it comes to the damage wise. But then the 60, this is the big one, guys. For each blessing orb removed, punishing orb will be created. For each punishing orb removed, a blessing orb will be created. This is going to allow that energy regeneration on a lot of heroes, um, which again is really probably going to be the optimal build for these heroes. Going to require a, a significant build on both of them, but I'm super happy, guys. Plus 30 signature item. We got the 9 of 9 furniture. Going to have to build the hero up a little bit more. One more copy, and we can do the engraving again. We did save all of the mats in here. I have more than enough mats, including all of the chests we got. Let me pop those open. As some of these cards usually pretty good. There we go. We got a copy of Edwin. Got some copies of Verk in there. Boom. None of the heroes we want. Still looking for Guineas, no copies of Guineas. But the food in here is going to allow me to recycle a lot. And with the recycling, that is going to yield me a ton of Twisted Essence, which is gonna be very, very cool to see as we continue to build out this account, guys. We've been power leveling it. Even there, there's another 34,000 Essence, which is going to yield us with what we have in here. That's gonna give us another level. And we're just making progression, guys. We are making such such solid progression on this account and not putting an incredible amount not even anywhere near small dolphin territory i mean we we still stick to around a hundred dollars a month is where we kind of cap it might spend a little bit more to to pick up some of the other heroes but as of right now we're not going to that finishes out the weekly giving us some more red chests but again that is going to yield us another level in here taking us to 773 a lot of players were wondering how we're so high. Guys, we do power level quite a bit, and we have power leveled quite a bit. Um, if you look at the past, and there's a ton of new heroes, including Edwin. So that finishes out Edwin. That finishes out um, Palmer as well to the five stars. Very cool to see. And again, a lot of this, we're going to have a ton of food in here. But for the Noble Tavern, yep, that finishes out Palmer. So again, that just leaves Guineas. That we have left guys and then it is legendary heroes and then the same down here with that finishing out edwin that leaves ivan and ivan is the only one we have no one else i'm actually going to have to just leave this slot blank with a blank slot it is just going to randomly summon anybody um which again we don't need any of the heroes we don't need any of the fodder regardless of the faction we get the fodder doesn't make a big difference because again we we don't really need it we have 66 gems left guys but Another level, even two levels here. Again, the Elder Tree, we're going to have to focus on building out a little bit. But I'm super excited, guys. We got the new pet, which is awesome to see. We also did get the hero built out. We, we were looking for the hero. We're going to have to wait till we get 
the Heroes in the Advanced Ship. So at reset today, we'll get the Heroes in the Advanced Ship. That's going to give us access to the growth bundles as we continue to build those. We'll also have access to the new pet, which is going to give us more beast food. So a lot, guys. All right, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.